Hey everyone, welcome back to Unity Roundtable, a series where we discuss Unity-related news, tips and tricks, tutorials, and more. The Unity 2023.1 beta is here. While there's a very long list of features, improvements, and fixes listed on the official change log, the biggest changes focus on improving features and render quality for both the HDRP and URP, along with platform graphic improvements and multiplayer solutions. Let's dive right in with Scalable Rendering. For the Universal Render Pipeline, Temporal Anti-Aliasing, or TAA, has been upgraded to 16-bit floats for optimized performance. It offers multiple quality level options and leverages motion vectors to reduce aliasing problems such as pixelated and flickering edges. FXAA has been improved as well, with better edge anti-aliasing while retaining better texture quality compared to previous versions. URP now also supports high dynamic range tone mapping and output when targeting desktop and console platforms, with mobile support coming soon. You can now add screen space lens flares generated from all highlights visible on screen, including direct, indirect, emissive surfaces, and specular highlights, in just a few clicks with a single post process process volume on both universal and high definition render pipelines. For HDRP, the water system has received a host of functional and visual improvements, including the water excluder, which dynamically removes water from inside concave geometry such as boats or caves, the water deformer, which deforms water locally such as around a ship in movement, a foam generator, which allows you to simulate white water for a boat trail or around rocks in open oceans, current maps, which create local currents by both managing surface waves to follow the currents and water query API to allow for objects to drift, and a water line for underwater rendering when the camera is crossing the water surface. HDRP also received some transparency improvements, which add an optional pass to compute the thickness of transparent objects in order to get more accurate refraction and transparency rendering. Specular light can now be completely faded when using a specular color workflow by toggling a new option that can be found in the HDRP global global setting under miscellaneous specular fade. Thanks to recent stability and performance improvements in DirectX 12, the ray tracing API and HDRP's ray traced effects such as ray traced shadows, reflections, AO, global illumination, path tracing, and recursive rendering are officially out of preview. Unity also added VFX graph ray tracing support, allowing the authoring of complex particle effects that are compatible with HDRP's ray traced effects as well as terrain height map support to use ray tracing on large worlds. Baked Global Illumination now uses Unity's new LightBaker v1.0 architecture for on-demand bakes. Dynamic shader loading provides you with additional control over shader loading behavior and memory usage, and variant keyword pre-filtering introduces the early exclusion of multi-compile keywords based on pre-filtering attributes driven by render pipeline settings. These changes significantly reduce shader memory usage, the amount of variants being enumerated for potential stripping and compilation, and shader processing time for both clean and warm project builds. The volumetric fog output is added to the VFX graph, allowing you to inject particles into HDRP's volumetric fog to generate clouds, smoke, mist, or fire effects. Light layers and decal layers are now managed similarly in both HDRP and URP. In HDRP, they will now share the first 16 rendering layers instead of using 8 separate bits each. And finally, the core functionality and user experience of adaptive probe volumes has been improved and is now officially out of preview. Unity 2023.1 also implements support for adaptive probe volumes in URP. Platform Enhancements As always, this update brings performance improvements for various platforms including iOS, PS5, PSVR, Xbox, MetaQuest, Magic Leap 2, and Android. Adaptive performance was upgraded to 5.0, which includes enhanced lifecycle control at runtime. HDR display support was extended to URP for desktop and console for a more realistic variation in luminance across scenes, increased surface detail, and improved depth perception. For DirectX 12 performance on Windows, Unity 2023.1 introduces a new graphics job threading mode called Split Graphics Jobs, which aims to reduce unnecessary beginning or end of frame synchronization between the main and native graphics jobs threads. And finally, XR Interaction Toolkit was updated to v2.3.0 and includes new features and capabilities including interaction groups, 
Look and Gaze Interactors, Hand Interaction Integration, Device Simulator Usability Improvements, and a new Interaction Affordance System which allows users to easily build high-performance interaction indicators. Multiplayer Networking 2023.1 introduces a few new experimental features for Unity's multiplayer networking system, including an update for the Unity Transport Protocol, or UTP, which now supports both web and TCP connections to improve the capabilities of the technologies that rely on it, including netcode for game objects and netcode for entities. And what I think may possibly be the best new feature for multiplayer development, multiplayer play mode. This allows you to run multiple instances of the game in editor to test multiplayer features locally without having to build the game. Scripting support. In Unity 2023.1, you uh, can now enable the addition of debug symbol processing, which will display the C-sharp source code line number information. Finally, extendable editor. They've improved and standardized the context menus that pop up when you right-click across items and workflows. Improvements include more consistent interactions, sorting optimizations, and an optional search field. And finally, the Terrain Tools package has been migrated to the new Overlays Toolbar framework for a more consistent and predictable experience with Unity Scene authoring workflows. For more Unity Engine updates, watch this video right here. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. By subscribing to Android David Plus, you get early access to videos behind the scenes content, exclusive monthly video updates, access to join our private Discord hangouts, and more. Thanks for tuning in. See you on the next one.